We're now going to talk about some trig ratios, sine, cos, and tan, and what their graphs looks like, and the things that you should uh, commit to your memory when you're talking about sine, cos, and tan. First off, let's talk about sine. Uh, basically, sine theta is a graph that repeats like this forever, between 1 and negative 1, and between 0 degrees and 2 radians. Um, radians is just another way of saying degrees, uh, where one radian is equal to 180 degrees. So two radians is 360 degrees. So let's divide this up a little bit and say the midway point is going to be pi, which is a radian, 180 degrees, and the midpoint between each of those is pi by 2. So this is going to be 1 and 3 pi by 2, which is going to be negative 1. That's the first graph you need to memorize and commit to memory. Uh, it's not too bad, you can figure it out quite easily. It's always negative 1 and 1. Let's talk about our second graph, which is going to be cos. Cos graph is cos theta. I'm going to draw this a little smaller. It's uh, Basically it looks like this. Between 1 and negative 1 again, <clears throat> and between 0 and 2 pi. So here we have at pi we have this value, negative 1. At pi by 2, we have 0. And at 3 pi by 2, we have 0. So let me just draw this sine graph again. Sine theta. Just for more reference in this in a second. So we have 1, negative 1, 2 pi, and this is pi. Uh, the last graph is tan theta. Before I draw that, Let's talk about what tan theta equals. Well, it's sine theta over cos theta, just like that. So we can actually plot it by looking at this graph. I'm going to write out some values here. Um, sine, cos, tan, tan. These are all theta, of course. But let's say we want to solve for a big table of values here to see what it is. So this will be, this way is our degrees or radians in this case. Um, so at zero radians, we get <coughs> sine of zero, which is zero. Cos of zero is one, and sine over cos, which is zero over one, is equal to zero. The next one is pi by two. So at sine pi by two, we have plus one. Cos of pi by two is zero. And I'll so 1 divided by 0 is undefined, right? Anything divided by 0 is undefined. Then we have pi after that. So pi is 0 for sine and negative 1 for cos, which is still 0 over negative 1 is still 0. Then we have 3 pi by 2. So 3 pi by 2 for sine is going to be here, which is negative 1. And 3 pi by 2 for cos is going to be 0. Negative 1 over 0 is also undefined. Now for 2 pi, we can look there and say, okay, at 2 pi, we have plus 1, and we also have uh, 0 here. Oh, oops. For sine 2 pi, we have 0 and 1 here, so it's 0 again. So these ratios repeat. Um, we can also look at other ones, like 3 pi by 2 and all these different ratios, but we're just going to look at this for now. Now let's plot our graph over here of tan. So <clears throat> if I have my graph, I'm going to draw both ways because this graph is a little special. It has pi by 2 asymptotes. Asymptotes are points on the graph where nothing can touch it. It just approaches it. So asymptotes here happen at undefined because as we approach there, I'll show you. It goes up to infinity, and here it goes down to infinity. So this is pi by 2, pi by 2. And this graph repeats itself over and over to the next part, so over here, like that, <coughs> and over here, like this again. So those are your sine, cos, and tan rules. Um, that's basically all you need to know about sine, cos, and tan for the very first, and we'll talk more about manipulating these ratios in the future.